Hi everybody, this is Plug Spinner, and today we're going to take a look at the EDC lockpick set made by Killer Maru. Killer Maru is a pick maker located in Italy. Uh, basically, I had been following him on Instagram for a while and really took an interest in his work. And so I reached out and asked him if he'd be able to make me one of his um, EDC kits. And basically, all I told him is I want it to look kind of medieval-ish, like old looking. And from that, he came up with this himself. He made this awesome um, aged brass case, this sweet textured um, pocket clip, and also this smoke-colored gem over here. And I think he just, he nailed it. It really gives off that whole medieval vibe. It's pretty much exactly what I was thinking. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy with it. So moving on, when we open it up, we see our picks and tensioner are sitting in there nicely. It's like honestly a perfect fit, like even when it's open, they're not going to fly out because it, uh, he spaced it in a way that they just fit perfectly, which I think is a very nice detail. So we just slide those out here. Um, I asked him to make me a selection of hooks. Um, I think normally it comes with a hook, a half diamond and a rake of some sort but I don't really use rakes ever, so I wanted to make sure that the picks I got were actually going to be used, which is why I asked him to make me three different hooks, which he did, and they look beautiful. They have this awesome black finish on them. I mean, the video doesn't really do it justice, but it looks really nice in person. And then for the rubber, I basically told him to just do whatever he wanted, and I actually, I like the design he came up with quite a bit with the blue, um, yellow, and white. So really nice. And, in addition to the EDC kit, he actually also made me these three specialty hooks. Because I had mentioned that I wanted to get a deep hook, but you can't really get a true deep hook inside of the EDC case just because it's too wide. So he sent me these separately. So we have, this is basically another standard hook. It's slightly longer than the EDC kit. So this will go into my regular picking kit. And then we have these two awesome deep hooks. This one's more like a regular deep hook, but it has this kind of flare at the end. I don't know if he has a special name for this, but it is nice looking. And then this is what I would call a high reach. And it works really good for locks, uh, getting up to those difficult high cut pins. Um, it's nice and slim, so it kind of just um, sneaks its way into the warding. Um, really nice. I'm not going to use these for this video. For this video, we're just gonna focus on the EDC kit but you will definitely see these in future videos. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get to picking. Uh, for this video, we will be picking this Mako 427 padlock. It has six pin stacks, um, serrated and spooled driver pins, and also serrated key pins. Um, I'm not going to do a gutting on it or any commentary because I have picked this exact lock in a, a previous video a while back. So if you'd like to see those things, uh, go check out the other video. This video is really just about the picks. So I'm just gonna try to get into this as fast as possible, um, just to show that um, how well the picks work, really. Uh, so yeah, let's get to picking. Okay, so we are going to use top of keyway tension. I think this was intended as a bottom of keyway tensioner, but it's short enough that it works perfectly fine for a top of keyway um, in this particular lock. And then we will use this uh, standard hook right here. And we're just gonna look for binders first, uh, push them up till they click, and then at some point we should hopefully get a false set, and at that point we will look for pins that produce counter rotation, which is how we identify and then pick these security pins to hopefully get an open. As you can see, these lock picks are significantly shorter than what you might find in a standard lock pick set. And that is because it is designed as an everyday carry. So you want it to be concealable, easy to carry, stuff like that. But if that is not your thing, he does make full sized lock pick sets too, which are awesome. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, uh, check out his Instagram. The link is in the description below. Uh, 
Uh, but I will say, the small picks, I wasn't exactly sure how it would differ because I've never used uh, this size pick before. But it's actually quite comfortable and you can feel the feedback really well. And in my opinion, it doesn't really have any disadvantages. It's just as good as the long pick in my opinion. Okay, we got a false set, so now we're going to look for counter rotation. And that should hopefully tell us that we are stuck on a spool. Okay, I think I found one. Let's give him a push. Hmm. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Let me just make sure my tensioner is not going to fall out. Well, I think I was right. Let me give him a harder push. Come on. And we got an open. So I don't know how long that was. It didn't feel very long. But as you can see, the picks work great. Um, like I said, really comfortable to use. You can feel the feedback really well. And he just he finishes them amazing there's no rough edges it doesn't get stuck on anything in the lock just really smooth um, I was honestly just really impressed overall with the the whole quality of everything um, he's an excellent pick maker really cool guy easy to talk to he walks you through every step of the way um, so that you get a product that you're happy with and yeah I just I would very highly recommend it if you're looking for um, let's say an EDC kit a regular lock pick set or even um, this new thing he's making called a bones pick, which is, uh, I can't even explain it, but it's super cool. Check out his Instagram page and you can find them there. But anyway, Killer Maru, if you're watching this, excellent, excellent job. I'm very happy with it and I will definitely be in touch in the future about, um, more products. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy and have a nice day.